Welcome back to What RT Nibs with General Disturbance. Now this is an M26 Pershing. It's a tier 8 American medium tank. And we're located on the southeast spawn of fjords. And the name of the commander is Chris Norman. Now ever since the changes to fjords and there's fewer trees around, there's less cover for the uh, tanks to move up into this particular area. Uh, I think we can see that Chris Norman's moving up as far as he can using what cover there is available. Okay, look at the targets. Still nothing. Well, it's a T44 over there. The usual spot where they would spy on tanks that are going down to the South Pass. It's going to push over. See if he can get up onto the corner. Using the rock for cover. The only problem with this now is that uh, if an enemy gets to position grid square C7, they can spot him from over there. And there's a match at T25, a 25 ton, and he puts around in 256 hit points and blocks around for 390. And the 25 ton is out of there. Now he's trying to get over to C7. Um, but he's over to the pass. I think he can see that the tank's coming down the pass. And he wants to try and impede them. And that T28's moving on. He's taking fire. Now he doesn't want to block the T28's retreat. Because that will not make friends. That T26 T5, the Patriot. Got a nice hit there, 242. Nope, the T28 is pulling back. You need to get out of the way. Yeah, because you won't make friends and influence people if you block your teammates from retreating when they need to. That T28 took a few shots there. It's a 110. Fires around in, no joy. Poking up, oh no, took a shot from the Patriot again. And there's the LC Evan, and he gets a round for 242 in. Now the Evan's got three rounds, and he's a little way forward, much further forward than he should really be. But uh, he's ignoring him for the moment. Oh, no, he locked on auto, auto aim there to try and help, but. No, right, T26 Patriot, going for the lower plate, takes him out. First kill. Okay, which is next? The AT 15's offering is uh, top, but the LC Evans firing rounds in. And he needs to be careful because that little. Uh, I mean, he's, he's now in reload that so might. He's fired his three rounds. So he can, now, he can drive over and take out that ELC straight away. He's in reload. Tw 30 seconds. And the T 28's going off to deal with him. Uh, but, uh, nope. We've got to wait for him coming out from behind that rock. Now, oh, good shot. 259 right into the rear of the ELC, but he's pulling away, and yep, his chance to get a shot in is now diminished. The ELC is actually driving directly in front of his teammates at the moment, but I think he's back in safe ground over there. There he goes. Oh, tries another go on the move. You've got to lead them a little, though. They are moving fast, but the enemy have broken through behind, so he's going to have to return down to the houses. The harbour houses. Yep. The unfortunate thing is he's got to be careful because uh, they could be very cool. Because, uh, oh, he's got a fire in the Conqueror! He's set the foot of the Conqueror alight, and he's got no fire extinguisher. He's burning, he's burning, he's gone! My god, he got 1,019 hit points from the fire. That was really good. Now, can he do the same to the Type 5? Probably not. No, he didn't get through, so he's going to have to use APCR. And no, it's the ankle he's at. And the Oho, he gets through the Oho. I think he did hit the weak point on the shoulders. No, that one didn't go through. Trying again for the shoulders. Nope, the Oho's gone. Okay. So, Type 5 Heavy and Type 4 Heavy. The 
the Type 4 is closer. He's waiting for the Type 4 to come up. Here it is. Okay, you can go for the uh, Capola. No. Went into the turret. Oh, and he bounced around. 450 hit points. He bounced now. Go for the shoulders. That's it. And he gets a good penetration. 244. Okay, now he's going to circle of death around him. And he's going to take the rear. 235. And he's now out turning the Type 4, who's in a difficult position. Mind you, he's got the houses to his benefit. And this is where it gets awkward. Now, once he's amongst the horse houses, uh, the M26 can't get round him. But he can get a shot into the rear. But he's going to have to take a shot in return from the Type 4. Fires around in. It bounces. It blocks. Now, try the other side. Yeah, that one went in. 259, but he took a massive hit from the Type 4 for 430. So he needs this round to go in. Yep, he does. He gets him. Finishes him off. And it looks like Type 5 Heavy is like having a lot of trouble at the other end. Now, can he use these houses for cover? Poke out, shoot, pull back. Well, 260. That was a good shot. Now, do the same again. Oh, he's putting behind that rock. This is awkward. Now he's going to have to go down to the end now to get shots in. The FB4202 has gone down, but he won't survive if that Type 5 turns around and derps him. Oh, uh, well, they've got the Type 5, and that's the end of the battle. Well, that FB4202 was lucky because he only had a few hit points left. Now, let's have a look at the end of battle results. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's not only an ace tanker. Uh, Chris Norman managed to get his first mark of excellence with the M26 Pershing. Uh, he also picked up a bruise medal for getting at least five critical hits. He got eight and he got a five for effect for dealing more damage than the hit points of his own vehicle. Let's have a look at team scores. Well, highest on damage, 4125. Very good. Um, he was um, joint second with the uh, several other tanks, the Cranvan, the Samur, the Wizzy 120 and the Scorpion. Uh, they all managed to get two kills, but the FP4202, who had virtually no hit points left, he managed to get four in the end, which is quite surprising. Um, and he also managed to get, um, let's have a look. Well, he got the highest base XP, 1,418. The FP4202 managed 962. And I think a lot of that's down to the fact that, yes, he did get not only the Super Conqueror, but he did take out that Type 4 Heavy. And uh, both of those were very difficult customers to uh, destroy. Uh, but he dealt with them quite handily. And the the uh, with the Type 4, obviously, he was risking a lot of damage. Once the Type 4 got into the houses, it, you couldn't circle them and out to turn the gun. Uh, so he was definitely going to be hit. There was no doubt about it. But all he could do was keep going from one side to the other uh, to try and uh, make it difficult for the Type 4. And it worked. So let's have a look at detail report. Well, fired 24 rounds, 19 direct hits, 14 penetration, damage of 4,125 hit points, uh, out of which 256 were at more than 300 meters. He did receive eight hits, four penetrations, four non-penetrations, and he blocked damage of 1,083. And one of those was a very big round from, I think it was the Type 4. Was it the Type 5? I think it was Type 4, which was counted for most of that block damage. Um, he also uh, spotted two enemy vehicles. He damaged seven of the enemy and killed two of them, and he did damage assistance of 309 hit points. On a premium account, he earned 55,347 credits, uh, but he had a personal missions payout as well of 5,000 credits, but after repair, ammunition, resupply, and consumables, and he did use uh, a lot of uh, premium ammo, um, he was actually left with a deficit of 17,330 credits. Um, he received 2,127 XP and uh, got a personal reserves bonus for the same for 100% as well as personal missions payout of 532 which means that his grand total came to 4,786 XP. 
So, um, good battle and uh, nice that you actually got the first mark and the ace tanker. Uh, it's a pity that you couldn't claim that uh, type 5 heavy kill as well. Uh, because uh, if he'd stayed where he was, uh, you could have easily put a round into the side. And that would have uh, boosted um, your score a little bit more. But uh, that FP4202 was very lucky to poke his head around that corner and finish off type 5. Because he only had minimal health left uh, at that point. Um, but good battle all the same. Uh, if you enjoyed this replay, please give it a like and do subscribe to our channel. And hopefully it will be your replay that I'll be featuring in our next video.